the Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my God. Maria, when we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have... Felt him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died. Believing you had betrayed him. Altair! Altair! 
Father, I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! Where is mother? This way. She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. What? How? This way. Ahead of us! Later. First, we fight. We need not fight! Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay.
It is time to go! Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair! And I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family! You cannot run forever! Not from us! And not from your lies! Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos. Nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous Janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key.